I said your oil will not run dry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we see that God himself is a keeper and he's looking for true keepers. And we see in, in this story, we're told that that horn of oil was used to release oil upon David and the Holy Spirit came upon him. The Holy Ghost is an enabler. He helps us to keep what is committed to us. He helps us to understand the duty of a shepherd and to keep what is committed to us. And so, beloved, at this season, in this 2021, in this dispensation, hmm, at this time when many cannot be trusted, when many have failed God, and we will not be counted among such, by his grace, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God at this time is looking for keepers. He's looking for those that he can commit weighty things into their hands in 2021. He is looking for those that he can entrust with destinies and with heavenly missions and agenda. May he find us worthy. May he find us as his eyes are searching and going to and fro, may our heart be right before him, even by reason of these words that he has been speaking to us on a daily basis. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And so David told us, the Lord is my shepherd in, in Psalm 23, you know that very well, verses 1 to 6. I shall not want, look at the list, in that in that Psalm 23, look at the things that David identified as the duties of a shepherd. He said, because the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. A shepherd will make sure that the flock does not starve. He says, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me. A shepherd makes, a shepherd leads. Praise the Lord. He restores my soul. Hmm. A true shepherd will not kill a wounded soldier, but we restore him into the fold with love and compassion. Amen. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. They show you the right path. Amen. He said he's my keeper. He's my shade. There's a covering. The shepherd creates a shade, a covering. Amen. So according to these scriptures and the confirmation we see, in verse 5 of 1 Peter 1, we can tell that God indeed is not only a keeper, but is also looking for keepers that will be co-laborers with him. Amen. So for God to continue to keep us, because this topic says kept by a power, there is a force that keeps us. There is a force that has kept us through. <laughs> Beloved, oh my goodness. Mm. There is a power that has been keeping us and thank God for that power, that force, that shepherd never retires. He never gives up on us, no matter how we stray. Because David said, though, <laughs> even though I, if I stray away and begin to walk through some dangerous paths, mm -mm, he does not abandon me. He said, you are still with me because you are my shepherd. You are my keeper. You don't just chuck me aside. You don't throw me away. You watch over me and you keep me until I get back to the right track. May God find keepers among us in this dispensation, in this 2021. May we be candidates of, uh, of weighty things, the king's business. May God find us worthy to commit great things into our hands in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ and so beloved, as we continue with this topic, and we'll soon wrap up, as we continue, we know, let me read John chapter 5, verse 18, and it says, We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself. Are you keeping yourself? Because if God is keeping you, you have a role to play. Praise the Lord. God is looking for 
that husband that will keep his marriage vows in the face of temptation, in the face of provocation, even from his wife, you said for better, for worse. The day her mouth becomes worse than it was in those days that you overlooked her words, you have to keep your vows. Praise the Lord. And vice versa, that woman, will you keep your home? God is looking for keepers, builders, sustainers, people that add value, not people who tear things down. Amen. So let me read that. So he says, we know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself. And guess what? Look at the result. And that wicked one toucheth him not. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. First John 5, 18 to 19. He confirmed it. The whole world, some translations will say, the world is swaying under the power of wickedness. And you don't need to go too far. Just put on your television. Look at the headlines. Look at breaking news. And you know there's wickedness out there. But beloved, the Bible is telling us that God is our keeper. But we must cooperate with him and be able to keep as well. I remember a story I read somewhere about two friends. One of them was moving house. As he was moving out, he called his friend to help him. And they were moving a crate from one of the rooms and they had to move that crate through a door. So they kept on trying to get this crate to move. The, the friend on one side, the one moving on the other side. And, but nothing was happening as they continued using up all their energy, sweating. And all of a sudden, the one that invited his friend to help him said, oh my goodness, I can never, it looks like we will not be able to get this crate out of this room. And the friend said, really? I thought you were trying to get it in. Oh, oh can you see? I'm pushing in opposite directions. Praise the Lord. So we cannot but be at par with God. We cannot afford to be walking contrary to the keeper. Hallelujah. Do you remember the story of this man that was told, and I'll read it, 1 Kings 20, 39 to 40. It says, And as the king passed by, he cried unto the king, and he said, Thy servant went out into the midst of the battle, and behold, a man turned aside and brought a man unto me and said, Keep this man. If by any means he be missing, then shall thy life be for his life, or else thou shalt pay a talent of silver. Now verse 40. Listen to this man's testimony. He says, And as thy servant was busy here and there, he was gone. And the man said, They gave me something to keep. But instead of me focusing on the assignment, he said, I was busy here and there. Be fruitful, not be busy. Praise the Lord. May God help us in 2021 to enjoy fruitfulness in our labors. And we will not beat about the bush. We will not just be busy dissipating energy. Imagine those two guys pushing in the opposite direction. Praise the Lord. So there was no fruitfulness. Now, this man said he was busy here and there. And what was committed to his hand was gone because he wasn't a good keeper. And guess what? The judgment was passed immediately. And the king said, and the king of Israel said unto him, so shall thy judgment be. Thyself has decided it. That will not be a portion in Jesus' name. We will be good keepers. We will keep the faith. We will keep what's, what is supposed to be discreet. discreet. Secrets that counselees have shared with us as counselors, we will keep them. We will continue to practice counselor and counselee ethics. God will grant us the grace. And we will not use the secrets of our counselors to preach on the pulpit. It's not allowed, beloved. May God find us as true keepers. Those who can keep the faith. Those that can keep their vows. Those that can keep keeping on. Keep standing. Praise the Lord. Those that can keep those things that are committed to them. And most especially, 
those that can keep themselves. So that as God is keeping us, according to Jude, Jude says, and unto him, I will read that, but let me drop this with you. By the way, you remember Jabez's prayer? Jabez said in that celebrated <laughs> scripture, 1 Chronicles 4 verse 10, and Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thy hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested, because God is a keeper. God will keep keeping us from evil in the name of Jesus, and he will keep keeping evil away from us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so in 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 22, it says, Lay hands suddenly on no man, neither be a partaker, neither be partaker of other men's sins. Keep thyself pure. That's all. So we have a role to play in this ministry of the keeper. And I pray that our supernatural keeper, that supernatural force, that power that keeps us, will help us to continue to keep what has been committed to us so that at the end of the day, we can present to the owner, the master, and tell him that of all that you have given me, I did not lose any. That will be our testimony. We will not be lost and we will not lose any. In the name of Jesus, rather we will multiply, we will expand, we will enlarge on every good side. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I'll wrap up by reading that scripture in Jude from 24. Jude is just one chapter. Jude 1, 24. So beloved, as I take this scripture, we're just going to say a big amen concerning 2021. And our prayer is that the Father, our God, our Shepherd, our Keeper, will help us to continue to keep valuables that God has committed to us in the name of Jesus Christ, that we'll be able to also keep our hearts with all diligence. Because the Bible says it's from that heart that the issues of life proceed, that we can keep our lips properly and speak the right words and know when to keep quiet and when to speak. Amen. We will keep our physical senses from contamination in the name of Jesus Christ. We will keep our eyes pure once they pop up such, such things that we know can contaminate our spirit man, our souls, our eyes. We, we, we shift away from such in the name of Jesus Christ. We will keep the faith. We will be keepers of valuables and by the grace of God, we will keep ourselves so that we will not be working against the keeper himself in our lives. In the name of Jesus, woman of God, that home that God has committed to you, he, he's releasing grace for you to keep that home. In the name of Jesus, even as we're celebrating Mother's Day, may God release his grace upon mothers that they will be able to keep all that God has committed to them. Oh, the capacity is there already. It's inbuilt in women. And my prayer is that every woman under the sound of my voice will be labeled a keeper indeed to the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus. And now I leave you with this. Now to him who is able to keep you without stumbling, you will not stumble we will not stumble because we are kept by a power to keep you from without stumbling or slipping or falling and to present you unblemished, blameless and faultless before the presence of his glory in triumphant joy and exaltation with unspeakable ecstatic delight. Praise the Lord. Verse 25. To the one only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, splendor, majesty, might, and dominion, and power, and authority before all time, and now, and forever, unto all the ages of eternity. Amen. So be it. Remember, next time you get scared, next time you think you are falling. Next time you feel you are sleeping, you are sleeping off. Remember, you are kept 
by a power. You are kept by a power. And that power is an invisible force. It's the power of God. And he will not fail you. He won't fail you, beloved. He won't fail me. He has confirmed it in 1 Peter chapter 1. And I will read 1 Peter chapter 1 from verse 3 to verse 5. Be blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Which according to his abundant mercy had begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Verse 4. To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you. Verse 5. Who are kept by the power of God. We are kept by the power of God. Kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. First Peter 1, 3 to 5. As I leave you this beautiful Sunday to the glory of God, as you continue to worship God and attend the assembly of the brethren, and receive the corporate anointing, may the keeper continue to keep you, even as he keeps giving you the grace to keep yourself and to keep all that he has committed to you. Particularly in this year, 2021, the adversary will never be able to, be able to snatch any valuable away from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, our Father, continue to be kept we are kept by a power a power that cannot fade a power that cannot fail a power that cannot diminish it is the power of god it's an invisible hand may that hand remain on you even till jesus comes so shall it be in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost and please feel free to release prophetic utterances concerning your home, your marriage, your finances, your business. As you go to work tomorrow, as you open that shop, as you open your office, you will declare, this position is being kept for me by my father. The keeper is keeping me in this position. So it doesn't matter what adversaries want to do. I am kept by a power. God bless you. See you tomorrow. By the grace of God and happy Mother's Day. Amen.